All right, so this is a, uh, this is video six, I think, if I'm counting straight correctly. Uh, we've got a microscope slide here of an, uh, a section through a kidney. So this is on lowest power, so total of uh, 40 times magnification. Out here, you can see at the tip of that pointer, that's gonna be the outside of the kidney, that's the fibrous capsule. Then this whole region we're running through right here is the cortex, and you can see these little spots in there, here and there in that cortex, and I can point at one right here. Each of the, that little spot right there is a uh, corpuscle. That's a renal corpuscle, which consists of the inside being that ball of capillaries, the glomerulus, and the outside being that Bowman's or uh, glomerular capsule. And all these little squiggly lines in here are all those proximal convoluted tubules so, uh, and distal convoluted tubules, all these little squiggly lines. And you don't have to be able to tell them apart. But then suddenly you can see that the, all those corpuscles basically stop right there. And the only thing we see now are just you know, lines, tubes running towards the center. So these are all those collecting tubules. Uh, so what we've done once we pass this point is we've entered the uh, medulla. And that medulla then will funnel all of that stuff down here into this section doesn't, I don't think this, this cut has a, a gap where you could see the KOCs or the pelvis, but somewhere off camera would be a bigger opening that would be KOCs and and the pelvis. So let me go back up here to this uh, cortex area and zoom in a little bit. Oop, what happened there? Oh, it's focusing. All right, so uh, there we are. Now this is a, let me find a good one. I guess they're all equally the same. Um, this one up here, I think, was maybe my best option. So this big gap right there, this is one that's been kind of blown open, but you can actually see little blood cells in there too. So that's, a, that's gonna be, and unless those are capillaries, which I can't really tell at this magnification, that's gonna be a corpuscle with the outer bit being the capsule, and there's even a little white line around it. Let me see if I can't find a different one. This one right here might be good. In fact, let me zoom in on it, see what we can get. This is the first time we've gone to this level of magnification, so we're all pretty scared here. It's pretty exciting stuff, isn't it? All right, there, that's pretty cool. Um, this is a really good view. Oh yeah, that's nice. So what I can see is around the perimeter of this little circular object is the glomerular capsule. There is a faint whitish line that I'm pointing at right now, which is the capsular space. All of this stuff in here is the uh, glomerulus, that ball of capillaries. So this magnification is able to view that really well. I'm gonna go back and back, uh, maybe I'll stay here. Uh, so you see all of these little corpuscles scattered all over the place. And when you get down here, you stop seeing them. So if I was to point at this, ooh, this is a really good one. Why did I not see that one? Let me zoom in on it. You can really see that. Getting kind of nerd happy over here. Brian, great idea on this. This is way better. That's really awesome. So uh, there you see the clearly the capsular space and the ball of capillaries. And some of these you can even kind of guess maybe where the proximal convoluted tubule starts, but we're not going to worry about that. Oh, incidentally, you might notice that these tubules right here have our old friends from a and P1, the simple cuboidal epithelium. So those kidney tubules uh, are lined by that, that particular type. And that, what is, what is cuboidal epithelium good for? Well, it's good for secretion and absorption. So exactly what's going on there. Let me go back to the low medium power again. So, right here by the border of the medulla, these would be juxtamedullary nephrons, because you can see that those corpuscles, right, those two that I had pointed out earlier, they're only a very short distance from the medulla. But if I go way up here, I'm getting farther away from the medulla now, and even right next to the outside, you're gonna find lots of, of cortical nephrons. And as I mentioned, there's many more cortical nephrons than there are juxtamedullary nephrons.
and uh, cut.